Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to Trailer Tuesday. It's time for an update. Uh, if you saw last week, I was expecting a lot to get done this week. And while it has, it still isn't as much as I wanted. <laughs> I think sometimes I watch other people's renos on RVs and I don't compare that they have more hours to put in than we do because we're just doing it when hubby has some free time and he can't spend all his free time on it but he does give a lot trust me so as much as i wanted to have happen didn't happen but a lot did happen so let's just go through and give you a quick tour of the big mess <laughs> but i hope you see a lot of progress because i do look at that aftermath he did end up ripping out the linoleum it just was important but look at that flooring. Isn't it going to be gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. So we got some cabinet doors in. Let me just show you this. Doesn't that look good? That's what the flooring is going to look like. So I've got doors propped. Try to find them all. I labeled most of them, but some of them went to this cabinet that we took out. So that's kind of confusing. This cabinet doors are right there. And so this one's wonky, so it's in the wrong spot. Those holes don't match up. So it's got to come out and maybe it goes over here. Or maybe it went to one of these cabinets that aren't here anymore. Missing a drawer. We found it under the ping pong table, which we're using as a painting table. So doesn't that look good though? We just worked on these doors and that one goes there and then those two go up there and then the TV can go back in. So this framing for the slide, that's where those vinyl pieces are going to go. Can you see that? It's hard to back up. So that's all that's really happened. Nothing much in the bedroom. Just figuring out which doors go where. I still have to find that door, but it might be one of the ones we didn't paint two mirrored ones go there and then we've got those three to put up one mirror one non-mirror and a bunch of drawers we're missing that drawer so we know where it is we just have to paint it and then this door goes here whoop I almost fell in a hole see there's holes <laughs> where, the, where the vents go it's, it's treacherous so that's going to go there and then the drawers there I'm so glad we didn't paint the fridge. I think it's just going to be gorgeous. That's your tour for now. Stay tuned. Okay, so progress. He started on the floor. Let me show you the inaugural piece being put in. Me, this is the inaugural piece of flooring. Ready to go? <coughs> yeah, this is me. This is it. Took a little bit of crafting to work our way around all the little nooks and crannies and all the staples and little pieces everywhere and even this is being a problem okay let me get this off here almost done you're under pressure i'm under pressure everyone's watching you help okay you can see all the little tiny undulations we had to put in there just to make this thing fit but i wanted the first one to start off straight so the rest of the camper isn't crooked put this guy in here you can see remnants of carpet that are sort of in there. Line this baby up. It's going to be so pretty. I know, right? It's going to be perfect. Now we've got this piece that's going to come in right here. That should fit just right. Oh my right. gosh, I'm seeing it. Are you seeing it? Yay! Good job, honey. We're melting. It's really hot. It is pretty darn hot here. I don't know how long we'll last. So I don't really know what to do with this. I guess we just step on it or something. I'll help you. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't that floor gonna be just beautiful? So he's he's got to do that when it's cool. He's finding that it shrinks when it's cool, so he can't do it when it's hot. And it is so hot. We're having that heat wave uh, that I've been talking about. It's not over yet, and it's gonna cool down the next few days, but it's still like hot during the day. So he has to do it in the morning, early morning, or at night. So. Hopefully that floor will get done this week. And I brought in all the cabinet doors and it's harder to put them back than it was to take them down. So I've been trying to put them back and it turns out that I had, you know, this many 
top kitchen this size, but I didn't mark exactly which one was which, and those holes aren't matching up unless I find the right one. So there's a little bit of puzzle, puzzle pieces to do. Hubby's been helping me with that. He did a couple of doors this morning, and I'm hoping to finish those today or tomorrow. And um, we found two drawers and two doors that didn't get painted. <laughs> So we have to go back to that. This is not a professional operation by any means. So, so there's that. Now, while he was busy working all week, I was busy covering the sofa. It's not done yet, but let me show you where we're at so far. Okay, that's the, that's the bottom of the sofa. All done. Now basically, it's just sewn on. So this one's not done yet, but today I'll probably finish it. Uh, I finished this side right here. I still have to finish where the pins are. Can you see the pins? So I just pin it in place, and then I do some hand stitching. I tried. I used upholstery thread, and I used this upholstery needle, which is super helpful. And it's gonna look so good. Just can't hardly wait. Okay, I did not use any kind of any kind of cushion at all. I just covered it flat. I tried putting the foam, I tried putting a mattress cover, I tried putting some batting. None of it looked as good as just nothing. So I followed my original video on how to do a jackknife sofa and it just turned out beautiful. So I'm happy with that and it was really actually easy. It's time consuming because you have to sew it to the frame, but uh, you know, just put on a book on tape, watch some YouTube videos, it's not that bad. So the sofa is pretty much done, and then I have to paint the frame, and then I'm going to get onto the dinette cushions. I'm not still not sure about all of those foam things around the windows. If I'm going to cover them and put them back yet, I need to wait until the cushions are in because if it's just too much of that pattern, I don't want to do that. Um, so we'll see. I'm looking for curtains. I'm looking for a bedspread. So those kind of are going to be the theme colors once that's done. Uh, let's see cushions. Oh, do you want to see how that uh, that vinyl turned out? Oh my gosh, that was just awesome. Let me show you. So these are the vinyl pieces. They turned out super good. Those are just the markings where the screw holes are so that hubby can find them. And it's just stapled on the back. And it was so easy. Super easy. For something so pretty oh my gosh it's so pretty so i just love it i just love it so much there's a piece of that same thing around the bed like this and i wasn't going to touch it but i just love this vinyl so much i'm going to take those off and cover them too it's just so pretty no one's going to see it but i just love it so that's going on there too i just love that vinyl it's so so pretty and sleek and clean and elegant i just love it not that a trailer needs to be elegant but it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty. Um, so that's where we're at. So hopefully getting the floor done, the rest of the cabinet doors in, and then focus on getting the sofa and the dinette in, and then it's decorating, that's it. There's really no more structure to do. Uh, I didn't paint the hinges, they just looked good. You know, they just looked good. So there's where we're at. That's a lot, it's gonna be really pretty. Man, it's gonna look like a total change when all the base is done and the decorating begins. So come back next week. I should have a lot to share. I said that last week. <laughs> I feel like I'm sharing a lot. Uh, it's not moving as fast. I thought we'd be done by now and camping. Um, but just things slowed up that I didn't expect. That's kind of how life is. It's just, just got to roll with it. And so I want to get all antsy and come on. But at the same time, this is just a fun little project on the side. It can't be something to be stressed about. So I'm done melting for you. I'm going to go, you know, get this sweat all off of my face and try to get this posted for you. So I hope you enjoyed this update. Come back next Tuesday. I think we should see some really big things <laughs> next week. Is that a tease? No, I really do. Floor should be done. Probably floor be done in a couple days. So I'm excited about that. Flooring looks so good. It's just like a whole different trailer. It's going to be beautiful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, come back for Friday Sews. I'll see you Friday.